Hi, I'm Mark Richmond from Skeleton Key. I'm excited to share with you a new product for FileMaker called FMRPC. FMRPC was co-developed by the teams at Skeleton Key and 360 Works, and we're real excited to show it to you. FMRPC stands for FileMaker Remote Procedure Call, and it allows a FileMaker user to run data and processor intensive operations on the FileMaker server and on demand. This happens without the need for any plugins, server-side queues, or server-side schedules. In addition, FMRPC expands the functionality of both FileMaker Go and FileMaker Pro, enabling them to do things they simply cannot do on their own. FMRPC is simple to install and secure, but we'll save all that for a future video. For now, all you need to know is it consists of four components. The FileMaker Server or FileMaker Server Advanced, which gives you options to use JDBC. One service, which is installed wherever the web server is installed. One table, which you copy and paste into your solution. And two scripts, which you copy and paste into your solution as well. Now, in the interest of time, I'm going to go ahead and jump right to the demonstrations, but stay tuned to this YouTube channel if you want to see additional information, such as what you can do with FMRPC, as well as under the hood and how easy it is to implement. With that said, let's get to the demo. So what I have here is an iPad running over Verizon's LTE network, and on the left I have a series of scripts that can be performed on these 500 records in the found set using native FileMaker Go calls. And on the right, I have the very same or very similar commands that are being run with FMRPC, where I let the server do the work. So I'm going to go ahead and run through these, and let's see how it goes. The first thing I'm going to do is do a replace all. And what this is basically going to do is add a random record to a column in all 500 records. What this means for FileMaker Go is it has to download all 500 records, replace the contents in those 500 records, and then send those changes back to the server. This may be one of the slowest parts of this demo, and this is also why I'm jumping right to the demos, because I want you to see everything uh, and get you interested in seeing more. Once this is done, we're going to perform the very same replace all calculation, but this time we're going to do it by letting the server do it for us. We'll see in the bottom left corner, we're going to see the number of milliseconds it took for this operation to run. Okay, 42,000 milliseconds. Let's go ahead and do it with FMRPC. Okay, that speaks for itself. Uh, and you can imagine if you're doing this on really large data sets, that's even more data to move across the network. And of course, FMRPC will be able to do that on the server, so it'll be a lot faster. Let's reset the timers and run another test. I'm not going to worry about the replace 125, because that's really just a subset of the other one. But heck, why not? Let's do it. So this is just going to do that for a smaller set of records. It's a lot faster, of course, because it's working with less data. And now let's do it on the other side. So you can see most calls with FMRPC take about the same amount of time, at least calls of a similar type. They might scale up as the number of records get bigger, but really for the most part there's a consistent performance profile to a lot of those operations simply because the server's doing it and all you're waiting for is the response saying it's done. Well, let's go ahead and try the next one. In this case, we're going to do a delete all of those 500 records, and then I'm going to restore the data, and then I'm going to run it on the other side. Now, depending on network conditions, this could take a little while. But we're going to go ahead and suffer through it, because your users would have to suffer through it if they didn't use FMRPC. Sometimes, at times like this, I wish I knew a good joke. Three FileMaker developers walk into a bar. No, nope, I'm not going to get a chance to finish that joke. Aren't you lucky? It's almost done. Okay, 38,000 milliseconds. That's pretty slow. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, restore that data using another connected client on the same database. There we go, our 500 records are back. And now I'm going to run delete all with FMRPC. That's pretty fast. You know what's even faster and cooler about that uh, is if I uh, uh, was to populate that database with a lot more data. Uh, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and stick in a, a bunch of additional records. We should be up there now, somewhere in the neighborhood, I think, of about 3,000 records. It'll take a few seconds here for the uh, Go client. You can see it down there at the bottom. It's slowly filling up. And I'm even going to go ahead and go more. Let's get ourselves up to 
you know, 6,000 records or so. Great. The idea here is I wanted enough records in there that it'll take even FMRPC a few seconds to do it. And the goal here is to show you that what FMRPC is really doing here is it's telling the server to perform the delete all, but then it allows the client to go back and do other stuff. So this is not just perform a script for me on the server like replace all, but perform a script for me on the server, but don't make me wait for the results. Let me go back to work. So now I'm going to hit delete all, and as soon as I'm done hitting delete all, I'm going to start adding new records. And what I should see is that at the end, however many new records I get in are what's left in the found set, because what FMRPC will delete are the records that are there when I start the process. Okay, it's sent. And now I'm going to add a new record. And I'm going to add a new record. You can see the time's already back. I'm going to add another new record. Yeah, so you can see I got two records in there before the records were all gone, but those two records I added were unaffected by that other background process. If I did this with 10 or 20,000 records, you'd easily watch that timer at the bottom or the counter at the bottom go down while I was still busy doing other operations. I could even leave this context and do other things. It's pretty cool. All right. Well, the nice thing about having um, no records in my current found set, or I'll just run another delete all, um, is that I can do my next test, which is an import. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import sample data from one table and put it into the table I'm in right now. And I'm going to do that natively. And then I'm going to do it using FMRPC. So not that bad. It's a pretty small, simple table. And I'm going to do it with FMRPC. Now that's faster, and obviously with larger data sets, we'd see a dramatically different numbers. But the key thing to notice here is the text on those buttons. On the left, I'm doing a native table import on the right, I'm doing an insert using JDBC. This means I'm accessing JDBC commands like insert, update, drop table, create index, and so on. And I'm doing this from FileMaker Go. And there ain't no plugins involved. And there's no DSNs involved. It's doing it natively using FileMaker Sort of Advanced. The last thing I want to show you is get stock quote. And what this is using is a plugin using web services on the server. No plugins allowed on Go. So when I hit this, what it's basically going to do is tell the server to perform this function with the server-side plugin and then send the result back to me so I can display it in the dialog box. Apple's quotes, Apple stock closed at 433.26. I wonder how that's doing compared to yesterday. Well, I could probably script that and find out. Anyway, there's a lot more to show you about FMRPC. Uh, you can perform scripts. You can perform scripts without waiting. You can perform JDBC functions. You can control the server command line. We've come up with a host of things that you can do with it that are really powerful and amazing. And they completely extend not just the performance of FileMaker Go and even FileMaker Pro devices or computers connected over the wide area network, but they also extend the functionality of them because it allows FileMaker Go in particular to access plugins on the server that it otherwise couldn't do. And it lets you do things like JDBC commands to manipulate data in your databases, which also you couldn't do. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel. Keep an eye on our Twitter feed. Maybe check in on our Facebook page. But we'll be releasing another series of videos very shortly, which get in greater depth about all the things you can do, as well as how easy it is to implement FMRPC into your solutions. And we'll take a peek under the hood in this solution as well, so you can see just how it was set up. Thanks.